Here's our movie app, and one feature that would be really nice to have is a way to search for movies. In this episode, we'll build a simple search form that will allow us to quickly find the movie we want based on its title. Let's get started. We'll open our app template, then we'll add a form for where we want our search to appear. We'll use our connection, since our search form doesn't use any kind of schema, and we'll send our form data to our movie path with the index action. Let's also add the pull right class so our form appears on the right side of the page. Now let's go back to the browser and great, we see our form. Now let's try submitting a movie and we get an error. That's because the form four defaults to a post and our index action is a get request. Let's update our search form to use get as the method then let's go back to the browser and try our search again. And it loads the page, and we see our search params in the URL. Now let's check out our server logs so that we can see what the structure of our search looks like. We see that our search term will be the value of the key query in our params. Now that we know how to access our search term, we need to use it to search for our movies. So let's open our movie controller, and in our index action, we're ignoring the params. Let's change that since this will contain our search query. Then we can pass our params into the features list movies function. Now that we're passing our params in, let's open our features module and we'll update the list movies function to accept the params. Now that we have our params here, how can we use them to search for our movie? In episode 31, we learned how to compose Ecto queries. Let's use that same pattern here. We want to create a simple pipeline that will build up our query and then hit the database. The first thing we'll need is our search term. We'll use get in to get our query from the params. Now we can take our movie and pipe it into a new function that we'll need to create, but will contain our search query. Let's call it search and we'll pass our search term into it. Then we'll take its result and pipe it into the repo all function. With that, let's implement the search function. We'll open our movie module and we'll define our search function. It will take two arguments, our query and our search term. Since we'll be using the Ecto query module here, let's import it above, and we'll limit it to only import the from function with an arity of two. Now let's go back to our function, and let's wrap our search term in wildcards. Wrapping our search term in wildcards like this will select all movies that contain our search term in the columns we specify. Then let's define our Ecto query, We'll get all of our movies from the query. And since we're using Postgres, let's use I like to perform a case insensitive search for all movies where our search term is contained in the title. Then if we go back to the browser and try our search again, we see that it's working. The params are being pulled in and our movie is returned. Now let's test it out with all caps. And great, that works too. But if we search for something not in the title, but in the description, nothing is returned. This is because our query is only searching on our movie's title. Let's update our search function to include our movie summary. We'll go back to our movie module, and in our search function, let's add or where with another I like for where our search is included in our movie summary. Now let's see if our updated search works. We'll go back to the browser and try a search term that is only in our movie summary. And great, it gives us the correct movie. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.